Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be following up on this little guy. This is a strobe module I shared in a prior episode. What I've done is I've whipped up this bracket for the spark. So what it does is it actually mounts on these landing legs of the spark uh, like this and retains this module. And the way it basically works is you got this bracket. Now, before I get there, though, I want to take a quick look because I know RJ Make will probably ask how much does this weigh. So uh, basically what we're going to do is put this on here. So this is about 4 grams. And then what happens is we take this module and insert it into here. And it's got a space for the USB plug. And this sits on top of there. And it, it comes in at about 8 grams. So what we're going to do is we take a zip strip... And then we put it through the front, and we slide this in, and then cinch this up like this. Stick this through, and pull it tight. And what happens is this will this will push against the module and hold it in place. It holds it pretty firmly, because uh, I don't know if you can see, but it kind of loops it around. And then I'm just going to take a pair of cutters and cut this off flush. Now I'm going to move this guy out of the way for a second because RJ Make now knows how much this weighs. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this on the back here. Now what we're going to also do is take a zip strip, just simply loop it around here and cinch it up. And then I'm going to do the same thing back on this side. And cinch it up. And just kind of do two at the same time. And then just simply take these and snip them off. I'm using yellow zip strips so it matches the top of the copter. So move these off to the side. And then now, <clears throat> excuse me, have a little bit of a cold here. Uh, we now have this set up. So it, the, uh, it's recessed a little bit, so we press the, uh, the button and we hold it. And so now, as we're flying away, we have a strobe light. So I'm interested to experiment with this and see how it works. Now, again, you can get at it to charge it while it's still mounted on. Uh, the battery is easily removable from the copter, so you can still replace the battery. Um, it's a little bit tight with the... Uh, piece up there putting it back in and trying to watch not I don't hit the camera but uh, slides in it hits against this little piece up here I didn't want to put it down here at the bottom because it sits flat on the uh, the table and that would actually kind of push it up a little bit more so anyways um, let me turn this off here a second it's a little bit hard no fingernails getting in there turn this off so Anyways, about 8 grams, a little bit more at the zip strips, you know, maybe 10 grams. But uh, anyways, I'm looking forward to giving this a try. So I'm going to try a couple different flights with this, both during the daylight. I want to see if it extends the visual range of this. I'm assuming the answer is going to be yes. And then I'm also going to do a pre-dusk flight to see how it works pre-dusk and see uh, how this all looks. So I think this would be pretty cool. So stay tuned. I'll have a lot more on this. Also, I'm going to be working out versions of this, I think, for the Phantom 3 and the Up Air to mount to its legs also. So stay tuned and keep an eye out on Thingiverse. And by the way, this is out on Thingiverse, so you can get it out there if you want it. Cheers. See you in the next video. Oh, let me know what you're thinking about for lunch today. Maybe peanut butter and jelly if the wife isn't looking. Cheers.